we're not taking care of the landscape, we're not uh, respecting the water and the things that we put into them. Manitoba's Lake Winnipeg is one of the largest lakes in the world, known for its fishing, its beaches and its biodiversity. But this vast body of water is in danger of becoming a dead lake due to increased algae blooms. Lake Winnipeg is the 10th largest freshwater lake in the world. Its watershed spans 1 million kilometers, draining 90% of the agriculture land in Canada. But over the last few years, this blue-green algae has appeared in the lake, threatening its species and water supply. The algae blooms are reason of the threshold phosphorus or excess phosphorus in the waters that is triggering the growth of algae and then once they are growth in excess, they can deplete the oxygen when they're decomposing. Dr. Inoka Amarakun says better nutrient management is the way to control and prevent the growth of algae blooms. What we can do is like do more and more practices to keep it in the soil and not getting into the Waters. There are several organizations across Manitoba that are dedicated to preserving and saving Lake Winnipeg. The East Interlake Watershed District in Gimli, Manitoba is one of them. Armand Bellinger says it's important to take care of the soil because the best place for the water to end up is in the soil. He says the district is working with farmers and developers to turn the soil from concrete into a sponge. When we grow the soils, um, the soil is turning to a living sponge and able to absorb that water and the biodiversity below ground in those soils increases and then when we have that we have biodiversity above ground and then biodiversity everywhere which makes our landscape a lot healthier. Belange says the health of the lake depends on how we manage and take care of the land that flows into the lake and right now there are two sources where contaminants are flowing into the lake. The point source that we see from lagoons and sewage systems, and then the non-point source. And the non-point source, everybody can help uh, tackle this issue by improving their landscape around them. Amara Kuhn says it's important for the public to understand that the algae is still growing, which is extremely concerning. More awareness, more commitment, and more collective effort to uh, reduce the loading. In Winnipeg, Alex Carpa, City News.